Knudsen, a.k.a. Mouse, is level-headed, even thoughtful. I'm just going to try and pass her off. Pass her off to the point where she starts losing control. And then hook her. Anita Mann believes hitting another woman isn't natural. I didn't really want to punch her in the head, but she came straight at me, and I was like, right, you bitch. <laughs> It's a stunning transformation right before your eyes when cultured corporates turn feral. Punching the living daylights out of a fellow office worker. And what the taste of blood can do to Dominique Paré and Andrew Asher, it's fine. Ladies are abusing me in the middle of the ring. A lot of people say I'm a little bit cheeky at times. Oh, fucking, fucking, just go for it, that's what I did. You've got to ask yourself, why would you? The answer is, it's fight night. Corporate heavyweights looking for a fresh challenge. Something's a bit loose. <laughs> you can't stop, you can't call time out. And it's not just these novice boxers who become possessed. Check out the crowd. It's a car crash, and it's unashamedly addictive. Funny though, just a couple of days earlier, event organizer and combatant Andrew Asher wouldn't use the word fight. Why have you been so reluctant to use the F word? That particular word, as opposed to the other one, which I'm not reluctant to use, I'm trying to encourage um, a feeling and a spirit in, in this, um, this thing. It's a, a, a challenge between businesses and a challenge between professional people. Also, I don't like using the, uh, the fight word, if we can. But I mean, that's just rubbish, isn't it? That's just PC rubbish, surely. Boxing is fighting, there's no other way around it. It, won't be, it won't be, well, PC, um, it's just a word. I, I don't think it's, I think it has a connotation that, um, that this isn't, this is um, not so much a gentlemanly sport, but it's, um, no, it's not a fight. Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. Seven years ago, Brad Pitt's character, Tyler Durden, introduced us to underground fighting. Punching became fashionable. In the UK, it's even called the Real Fight Club. A few beers in an Auckland bar one night set the bell ringing here. Somebody said, well, what, how good will you be in a fight? And I said, I would have no idea, probably bad. Two weeks ago, 2020 dipped into the lives of four everyday white-collar workers eager to sample the most blue-collar of sports. Andrew Asher is an IT manager. Andrew oversees the computer services for a property management company. You good at what you do? Very. Absolutely. Are you looking to find out something about yourself by fighting? I asked it of myself. So, what, how would I have, how would I go, could I do it? So, um, it just has to be done. And so did the hard part, the training. <laughs> One who was quick to add his name to the fight card, Frenchman Dominique Paré. I really, really was looking for that uh, mental and physical challenge. Hare arrived in New Zealand 25 years ago. A trained chef almost broke, but loaded with ambition. Now he owns the upmarket GPK chain of pizza restaurants in Auckland. Hare had played golf, but found the stress of work was blown away once he started boxing training. There you go. He says climbing over the ropes for his first real fight was just the test he needed. I thought the idea of doing this will give me one of the greatest challenge I've ever been involved in. So, IT whiz kid takes on the pizza guru. Both say it's a personal challenge. Sounds very cordial, doesn't it? Stick around. They all think I'm completely insane. <laughs> She might look it, but Anita Mann isn't your average woman. But all my friends have always known that. This likeable IT project manager is driven in everything she does. I come from a very motivated family, a very motivated company, so I can't figure out why you'd want to sit down and watch TV all the time and not have a goal in life. Which is why she's run half marathons, jumped out of planes, and how about bodybuilding for a bit of self-discipline? Marianne Knussen isn't afraid of risks either. Marketing a 
assistant by day, by night, circus performer. Specialty, fire dancing. Her nickname might be Mouse, but this is one rodent who roars. No qualms with making a spectacle of myself. No qualms with being um, an out there kind of person. And not afraid of the odd skirmish either. Hey. The only women in the field, Mouse and Anita, set to face off in the ring. Confidence wasn't in short supply, but there would seem one small but significant sticking point. You know, you're actually like hitting someone, which is not a natural thing for a female. Nobody wants to punch each other or anything like that. We'll see. Yeah. A week out from the event, Bob's taking a beating. But then again, Bob's a novice boxer's dream. I like Bob. Bob, Bob is good. Bob does not answer back. <laughs> Dominique's looking sharp. Training is getting pretty intense. After an hour in the gloves, he's off to another gym for a bit more pain. You can do that when you're the boss. Meanwhile, across town... Move! Don't you stand like a target! Andrew's feeling the burn himself. Work pressures have meant he's had to skip vital training sessions. You know, every thing of fitness you don't have, um, it worries you that the other guy's going to get, you know, he's going to have something over you. Graziella Thake is a psychologist. She understands their need for a quick hit. Why would these successful corporate types want to get in the ring for what could be a potential pummeling? There's a need for people um, to be seeking more and more adrenaline-based sports to get them away from their everyday frustrations. Because at work, they're not really testing their physical side, are they? No, not at all. This is almost the perfect balance for some of those high corporate flyers, men and women. Good girl. But Mouse is flying a bit low. She's battling about of food poisoning. But her immediate concern is that Anita is increasingly all business. And she's got some really good ones. She punched me once and it was just like stars in the face just going, whoa, hello, <laughs> hello, fist. <laughs> so much for that reluctance to dish it out. I just know I'll kick her ass. <laughs> Let's get it on! Fight night has arrived. It's a flash affair. This is corporate after all. You'd expect nothing less. Downstairs, that glitz is a world away. The anxious minutes to bell time are dragging. Are you still determined to win this fight? I am going to win this fight. <laughs> you haven't blown it all in the training here, have you? No. Uh, not at all. There's plenty more where it comes from. After months of training, this friendship is about to come to blows. All that fight strategy never even got in the ring. First punch, and it was all on. Focus in, come forward! She's pretty fast and pretty keen, so yeah, she just kept on running at me, so I had to punch back, go with the right arm. Uh, Anita's knocked me a few good times, she's got me a few good times, the girl's got it nasty right, nice, nasty right. Um, Did you get out of it what you'd hoped you'd get out of it? Yeah, and some, and some. In the red dressing room, Andrew changes from event organiser into boxer. My job to entertain now. Anybody here speak French? Next door, Dominique's going through his paces with his personal trainer, Todd Gray. It's going to be tough, I know. But um, I'm here now, done the work, so I'm ready to, ready to make it happen. Any butterflies? Oh, I had a bit of butterfly this morning, to be honest with you, just quietly. He just needs to keep his head. It's not an easy thing to do, you know. There's a bit of nerves flying around the room. When you get to this point, I mean, it, it, it's, it, it surely must be about winning now. Well, that sort of goes without saying. Yeah. It's time to box. Time for talking is over. Listen to the ring. Mix passion with pride and throw in some ego, and you had to know this one would go off. Go, go. Go, go. Final warning, don't hold.
was, I suppose, a lot of things I didn't think about. Yeah. What might have some of those things be? You know, you've got to act fast, and if you don't act fast, you know, you come second. No, I'm very happy with that. That's good. Was there any chat in there? Oh, he's abusing me in the middle of the ring. I don't know whether you... Was he really? Yeah, he was. What was he saying? Oh, they'll go, fucking, fucking, just go for it. That's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza boys just dished it out. <laughs> Trash talk aside, this event was about meeting personal goals. This is just so much bigger than anything I ever imagined. All four of our boxers feel the same. Great experience, but one they are unlikely to repeat. Hang up your gloves after this. Oh, no more. That's it. You know, I mean, I'm not, not much of a fighter, you know, I just do this for the challenge.